Hello everyone, welcome back to the next video of the C programming language. So in the previous video I have told you about how can you print the sum of two numbers in C programming language. So what if the case, uh, so in this uh, so in this case I am, I am mentioning the 5 and 10 as a number. So what is the case that the user want to mention or or more specifically I want to I want to print the numbers as user input. So in that case you have to use the input function. So so what is the input function in C? I will show you too. Uh, so at first, uh, at first, uh, declare three variables like int a, comma b, comma sum. It is done. And then you have to declare like this. Suppose printf. Enter the first value. Uh, do a line give a line terminator then scan f percent so what is this statement uh, so you all know this statement this is I just given to uh, to understand the user that I want the user to to uh, I want the user I am saying that enter the first value so the user will enter the first value so what is percentile d Percentile D is I am specifying that it is it will be an integer type value. Uh, that's why I am specifying the percentile D over here. If I mention percentile F, so it will be a float value and different formats specify for different things. So in this case, I am I have mentioned int over here, so I have to mention percentile D. And what is m percent of A? So m percent of A is something like that. So uh, in C programming, if you directly print the value of A, so it will it will return the memory of the A. So what? Uh, so suppose a C programming. Uh, suppose a memory is there, RAM. So I have declared int a. So uh, suppose uh, suppose in the memory in a location 8002. Uh, so the a variable is stored. And what is the and what is the location? So the location is stored over the m percent very m percent a. So m percent a is. Uh, so this variable contains the location of the a variable. And I am pin and I am telling the user enter the value. So if the user enter 10 over here, so this will come over here. It will it will identify this as an integer type variable. And after that, here is m percent m percent of a. So m percent of a has a location 8002. So it will go to the location 8002 and stores the 10 over here. So basic so this so this is how the m percent works in C programming language. M percent basically defines the location of something. Uh, so in this case, uh, the the value is the value gets stored over here. So the next thing, printf enter the second value. Like this. Scanf percentage d m percent b. Don't forget to give a line terminator, otherwise it will give you error. And then printf obviously the sum of two number is just write percentage d. Sorry, percentage percentage d. And comma sum. Yes. And then if you execute, then if you execute this, compile. Uh, sorry. Execute this compile. So it it is not giving you any error. And then after that run. So yeah. So enter the first value. If you get ten, enter. And the second value is 10, and if the sum of the number is uh, what? Uh, okay. Uh, so I have made a mistake. Uh, sum equals to a plus b. Oh, I, sorry for that. I forgot to mention. Forgot to mention the 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 result which will which will be stored is sum, and then let's compile it. So compile 
the error is there is no error then run enter the first value I, I am giving 10 enter the second value I am giving 20 and the sum of the two numbers is 30 so so this is how you can give user input in the C programming language I am telling once more we have to declare int a we have to declare the three variables then print f this is just a line you, you, you can declare this or you can declare it you can declare this this is up to you but if you declare this you can know which variable is for first variable and which what is the value of the second variable this is for the user this is for the user this is for the user purpose only and then scan f you are telling the percentile d it is it will be an integer type variable and then you are mentioning uh, percent a so i have to, i have told what how does the percent a work then print f enter the second value and then percent b and then sum equals to a plus b and then I'm printing the result the sum of the two number will be percentile d comma sum so in the so this is how the, the this is how it works so let's compile once again compile so it is now run so enter 20 so enter 30 so it is giving 50 suppose uh, I want to add some float value in this case so it will not work suppose enter 40.26 Enter the second value. The sum of the three numbers is 40. So, so if I, uh, so in this case, if I, so if I give some 40 point, 40 point two six as this is an integer type value. I uh, sorry, a decimal value which is, which is in the, which is in the programming terms, it is known as floating value. So it will not work in the integer. So, so I will tell you how can you use. So if you, if you want to print the, uh, if you want to do a sum in floating, uh, floating integer or decimal. So there is so you have to declare in float. So I will tell you in the next video how can you do that. So uh, so I hope you will like this video. So thank you for watching the video and please give a like and subscribe to the YouTube channel also.